Hi, I'm Courtney Tulloch, GBR Gymnast and Move With Us Ambassador. Today, we are launching a very special series of Counts With Courtney Challenges as part of Essex Year of Numbers. Over the next school year, I'll be sending you and your school some exciting challenges to get involved in, and we're launching this in line with Maths Week. Today, we are using an activity from Teach Active, and we would love to see all of your pictures and videos of you joining in and completing the challenges. Just use the hashtag move with us on socials. Hello everyone, how you doing? Good, fantastic. Now, as I said to you, we're going to do our first maths challenge. And this maths challenge is a teach active game and it is called... Times Table Tennis. Fantastic. So we're going to play Times Table Tennis. Have you got tennis rackets? No. No. Oh, no, that's a shame we can't do it. I'm only joking. You're going to need this as your racket. So show me your hands. OK, you can work with both hands. OK, show me your other hand. Switch. Switch. Brilliant. OK, lovely. We're going to use those as our racket today and we're going to play Times Table Tennis. Are you fairly confident with some of your Times Tables? Yes. OK, put your hands up and tell me which ones you're working on at the moment. What are you working on? Uh, eight. Eights. Brilliant. Fantastic. Which one are you working on? Your twos. Fantastic. And the twos are the one that we're going to demonstrate in a moment. What one are you working on? Nines. Brilliant. OK, so hands down. The, the brilliant thing about this times table tennis game is that you can choose which level you're working at. So you're going to work with a partner. You're going to choose a starting number and then you're going to strike the ball or the balloon between you and your partner every time you're going to say the number in that times table. Does that make sense? Should we show you to give you an idea? Let's do that. So Courtney and I are going to show you the game. So we're going to work on our twos because we're working on our twos just like you. I'm going to start. I'm going to strike the balloon and Courtney's going to strike it back to me. OK, are you ready? Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. It's getting competitive. Sixteen. <laughs> Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Now, when you get to a point where you want to stop, stop. And if you want to, you could then start with a new number. So maybe one. What would Courtney say if I'm counting two more? Ooh, so we're not working on the times table. Maybe two more. Three, so I'm adding two, so we're thinking about the pattern. Or, what else could you do? What else could you do with the number patterns? Instead of going forwards, what could you do? Ooh, what could you do? You could go backwards, so we could start with 20 and we could then go backwards. Everybody happy with the game? Yes. OK, and often, like most of these games, you get more familiar with it and get more confident with it when you're playing the game. All right, so I'm going to give you a balloon each and we're going to make a start. All right. To make this easier, you may want to try to use simpler number patterns, such as counting on in ones or twos. To make this harder, you may want to try more challenging number patterns or times tables. Try counting on forwards first and then counting back in that number pattern. Things to consider for this activity may be removing the balloon and using throwing and catching skills, maybe with a tennis ball or a playground ball. You may want to support pupils further with number lines or hundred squares to provide them with a visual aid. We hope you've enjoyed today's challenge. If you'd like to find more resources like the ones we showcased today, head over to the Active Essex website to find out more about our Counts with Courtney challenge and Teach Active. Stay tuned for more challenges to come and don't forget to join the team and move with us.